Rohan against Mordor on a beautiful map, Forts of Ice, and the classical map, the epic map, the map we have seen the most by far in every Battle for Middle Earth game. This time in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. And Farad picking the Rohan faction, which is the hardest matchup for Mordor, by the way, because Rohan at every stage of the game is gonna be strong enough to deal with the Mordor forces. Okay, so early on our goal is nothing else and nothing more but to survive. Get through the early rough game of Mordor by defending our settlements as well as we potentially can. Okay, so look at this cutie, Gollum. Let's grab the settlement. Once again, boys, it's very important. So we're gonna we're gonna send the golem straight through the middle, and hopefully we will be able to see those peasants coming way before they can reach out to us, and we can start damaging them because golem is faster than soldiers, orcs, and also peasants. The only swordsman in the game that can be faster than golem is Uruk. Uruk. -hai. And yes, we will be able to stall the game a bit. Again. When you lose the mills at the beginning of the game, I mean, when you lose them both, it's pretty much GG. It's very hard to recover from this, and that's why we need to try our best to keep them protected. Okay, so... Um, the good thing is we are damaging those peasants quite a lot. You know, that's pretty nice. And as mentioned before, he has two choices. He either gonna, you know, ignore that and take damage, or he needs to turn and fight. And both the cases are actually good for us, because we come ahead. In every situation. We have also the great eye of Sauron if needed. But I think we don't even need to use it. What we need to do eventually is. I don't know if he's actually going to go for a, for a second wave of peasant spam. Remember Rohan faction is the one faction which can use the uh, resource buildings like farms. Also at the same time like a production building. And get additional peasants on the field from every single farm. Inside and outside. And for that reason, we gotta we gotta play a bit more carefully. When you play against Gondor and you deal with the two soldiers, you are pretty much good to go because you know there is nothing else to come. Okay, so we are doing good for now. That's pretty good. We won't lose any of these mills. That's very important. Now we can finally start building some slaughterhouses. Once again, Mordor is the advantage that you don't need to pay a penny for recruiting those orcs. The orcs. You know, you like, you know, you know me. Normally, quality goes over quantity, but Mordor is an exception to this rule. Mordor likes to go quantity over quality. Let's try to creep the work layer. And look, yeah, look at this. You see that? He was sneaking one of the peasants. That's why scouting is so important. And with the help of this and also Gollum, with the help of the orc and Gollum, we might be able to also keep the second mill protected. Don't cash float, keep building stuff the second you have enough money for it. And now we will try to creep. I mean, our goal is not to creep this fully. We will just focus down the layer itself. Because our goal is to get power points and especially money. The money we will get from the layer is going to be quite helpful to fill our base a bit faster. I see you. Okay, I mean, the bad thing is, let's use the workers, actually. The workers are going to war. Okay. And we are also creeping at the same time. That's pretty good. Now we can counter pressure a little bit. We can fill up the base with slaughterhouses. And, you know, in this situation, I actually don't want to go for the trolls. You know why? Because trolls are, are a very defensive choice. And we will be forced to camp a bit. But what I want to recruit instead is I want to go for a Nazgul. You know, and we cannot go for a Nazgul blindly. We need to eventually build a Haradrim palace to be able to recruit some Haradrims. Because when he goes for upgrades and our Nazgul is a bit delayed, we might actually lose the entire base. You know, hope for the best, but be always prepared for the worst. So, let's scout the base with the Eye of Sauron and creep the work layer at the bottom right side. Pressure. And yeah, here's a stable, and the very first Rohirrim is just joining the battlefield. Now we need to build towers. You know, that's the signal for you to build battle towers or sentry towers rather. Because he might go for the base instantly and if he does that, it's GG. Now we cannot win. Okay, so we are doing good for now, I would say. We have not lost a single mill. We were able to creep one of the layers. We got the money from it. So everything is looking great and there comes the first row here. Now that's going to be the time in which you can do nothing about losing your mills. Because we have no trolls, we have no runes, we have... No pikes, nothing that can stop the Rohirrim from doing what they are about to do. 
but we will be finally able to recruit some Haradrims. And once again, you know, it doesn't look great for us now, but once we get the industry powers back from the Spellbook of Mordor, we will grow rich in terms of economy, and we can also eventually purchase our outpost and put some Haradrims inside the outpost. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's creep this in the meantime. That's good. We can also use... I mean, you know what we can eventually do, but let's not do it. We could use the Tainted Land and spam it all around the map. Because Rohan and Isengard, unlike Mordor and Gondor, they don't get access to the Tainted Land slash Elven Wood uh, as soon as possible. Because, you know, Gondor and Mordor, they gotta only pay one single power point. While Rohan has to pay two, and Isengard has to even pay three. Hey, we got the last hit. And money, 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 money. Come on now, I'm greedy. Yes, yes, yes. The money is ours. Nice, nice, you guys. Let's recruit more, 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 more. I mean, we can spam orcs all day long. And the good thing is, the second our orc pit is hitting level 2, we will be able to get them even faster on the field. And for now, they are easy to be killed. I get it. But trust me, in long terms, they're going to be extremely annoying. Because you, you don't need to stop producing them. You can spam them. And the good thing about evil factions like Isengard and Mordor is... If you lose units, you also passively generate power points. It means losing eventually thousands of orcs will grant you maybe five to six extra power points. You know, that's very important. More orcs. Our money is looking good too. We have almost 2,000. And this Rohan has actually no upgrades yet. So he has two options. Either... You wanna um, go for the for the archer range and go for the elven warriors, or he might also rush Aragorn, Aragorn's son. That's a ve very solid strategy against Mordor, you know, because Aragorn can crush everything. He's extremely tanky, hitting like an absolute truck, and it's really hard for Mordor unless you have like four trolls plus drama troll to deal with the king of Gondor, who is upper, you know, who's you know. Fighting for whatever reason for Rohan. I mean, I get it. I believe the EA games, you know, in Battle for Middle of One, Aragorn from Rohan and Gondor's Gandalf are extremely powerful, okay? If you would put them in one single faction, holy guacamole, guys, this faction would be literally like an Exodia deck in Yu Gi Oh, guys. Let's creep this. I mean, they are doing actually a good job for creeping, and Rohan is not creeping as much as I was assuming he would do. Peeping a lot for Mordor, for us, is going to give us a lot of advantages. We will get a lot of power points, get industry a bit sooner, unlock from the spellbook. And also, uh, this game, you know, this is one of the matchups which might last either like 20 minutes or which might, which might last maybe 60 minutes. And when it lasts more than 25 minutes, it's going to be a game for the power point fight. In which we need to get to the Balrog power points from the spellbook of Mordor as quickly as potentially possible. But our map control is looking not bad. Even though we have no pikemen on the field yet, we have no um, trolls on the field. And that's going to buy us enough time to be able to recruit. The nice ghoul. One of the nine. I'm, uh, I'm expecting Aragorn at this point. I don't see outpost control from Rohan. I'm literally expecting Aragorn. Let's put Gollum on top of the Rohan wall. This way we have always clear information about what is actually happening. And that's going to increase our reaction time. This way, we can be prepared, you know, for the worst case scenario way, way sooner. Industry unlocked. Let's use it right off the bat. It's good. Money, money, money. And, you know, keep fighting for the map control. Keep being annoying. Losing orcs doesn't really matter anything for us because we don't need to pay anything for them. I'm expecting Aragorn very soon. I have a feeling about it, guys. Because he needed to have upgrades by now, definitely. But when you don't see upgrades... You know, when you play against Gondor and you don't see Gondor upgrades, you need to understand that this Gondor is aiming to get Gandalf on the field as soon as possible. There is a Hobbit, but let's not cloak him with the Eye of Sauron. He might need the Eye of Sauron later on when it comes to fight against Aragorn, because there is a high chance this... Ah, uh, there comes... Yeah, there is the king. <laughs> there is the king, boys. Yeah, there is a high chance this Aragorn actually might um, go in our base. And we need to recruit some Haradrims, put some Orcs in front. Just be, be you know, be prepared. Otherwise, he will wipe out the entire castle. Because Aragorn is just, you know, Aragorn. Very strong. We need to kind of damage him a little bit before he can make it to the castle. So let's use the Haradrims. Haradrims, by the way, if you don't know, they are actually dealing great amount of damage to heroes. I mean, not a lot. But better than orcs. 
Oh, he, oh, he's angry. Okay, he's using Blade Master. Run, 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 fly, you fools. Haradrims. The man of the east. Okay. I mean, the good thing is, he was kind of blowing away his Blade Master, fighting in the middle of the map. That means he has now no DPS, I mean, not enough DPS, to get in our castle and destroy the fortress. Or the Haradrim Palace, or the Orc Pit. That's pretty good for us. And we have almost... 5,000. So we need 5,000 exactly on point to be able to recruit the flying hero. And flying heroes in Battle for Middle Earth 1 are so incredibly effective. Yes, Rohan is a great counter. Because Rohan is a hero especially designed to counter Mordor faction. And we are talking in this case about Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan. Her smite ability is gonna hit like a truck. Not only against the Nazgul, but also against the Witch King. But again, you can ignore that. You have the mobility advantage with, with a Nazgul, right? You can fly from one location to the other location. You can be annoying. You can kill horses. I will show you. I will show you. Hold on a second. And the Nazgul is on its way, ladies and gentlemen. The Nazgul is on its way. Okay, the farm is going to be eventually protected, but it's okay. We will lose this outpost, by the way, guys. There is nothing we can do. But I'm happy because the outpost is, uh, this, you know like confusing not confusing but distracting distracting that's the word i was looking for the rohan player i mean aragon look at this look at this aragon <laughs> i mean not only he's hitting so hard but also he's refusing to take damage you cannot uh, target fire with the Haradrams on top of the outpost by the way that's not possible in sending heroes first like aragon is a very great choice from him gotta give credits to my opponent he was doing a phenomenal job oh he has archers i mean we already know what he's up to right he want to go for the the fire operate and to be able to recruit some Rohirrim archers later on. Okay, I mean, now our Nazgul has to pay off. I mean, the worst, guys, the worst thing that can happen to us now is if we lose the Nazgul, because that would mean literally the end of the game, okay? We have no chance of turning this game around when we lose the Nazgul. But look at this, looks like meets back on the menu, boys. Thank you for the Rohirrim, bro. Thank you for the Rohirrim. They are also close to get to the power spike for the, in, for the, for the um, not scavenger, for the darkness. I like, to, I like the scavenger a lot. I think it's a very great tool to make money in long terms. So that means it's like a passive, they making money every time you get enemy units or heroes. But it's going to slow you down, right? It's going to slow you down. And you, need, you don't want to miss darkness either. You know, darkness is very important to make our trolls... Woman kills, Haradrims, Orcs, everything in the entire map much, much stronger. So our goal is to get to Balrog. For that reason, we will need to collect three more power points for darkness. And then we will start saving up for the demon of the ancient world. Okay, here's the outpost, but we can try to kill the archer range before any archer can come out. That's not too bad. Aragorn is doing his thing. We can, I mean... By the way, don't even bother attacking Aragorn with your Nazgul, because the Nazgul is dealing basically no damage to Aragorn, who has infinite sustain. So Aragorn can use Atelas, boom. The amount of damage you can deal to him in a minute can be healed within a single click. And then he has also the heal from the Spellbook of Rohan, so you will just lose time. I mean, you can beat him to use Atelas and heal, I guess, but I think the time you can invest this in much, much better ways. For example, pressuring his horses, killing them, getting more power points, pre pressuring his farms, fighting for the map control. In this case, we are fighting for the outpost. And we will, by the way, if you are wondering why is Cheng's cash floating that much, it's obviously I want to save up for the Witch King. Now, we have the chance, obviously, to go for the second Nazgul, but if you have already a Nazgul on the field, don't go for the second one, save up for the Witch King instead. Witch King is much tankier. Against Eowyn, against Arrows, you know, deals more damage to heroes. So, you know, basically, Witch King deals up to 15% more damage in compared to a Nazgul to heroes. And most importantly, however, it's his leadership. 50% more damage and armor, that's the best hero leadership in the entire game. Because it's affecting a large area. Oh my, dude, you guys see that? He killed so much, dude. The splash damage Aragorn is getting from the Bleed Master is something else. That is Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan, and now we gotta pay out. We gotta, we gotta watch out. Not pay out, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Um, our golem is giving us a great amount of vision control. We see everything that is happening in the Rohan castle. That's pretty good. We have four power points collected. Again, if you have a lot of money problems, yeah, you can go for a scavenger. 
But for us personally, in this game, it doesn't look too shabby. It doesn't look too bad. And look how much pressure we are... Oh, there comes a smite. Boom. You see the chunk? Like 70% damage, dude. Like 60% damage. That's a lot of DPS. But we need to still kill the Rohirrim. Look at this. Rohirrim. No, no, no. Okay, Rohirrim are gone. Looks like me's back on the menu, boys. I don't know about that. Back, back, back. Abort the mission, guys. There is Aragorn. You don't want to mess up with him. Trust me on that one. Oof, Aragorn's damage, dude. Okay, the good thing is we need only one more power point. After the Witch King, we need to definitely make a transition into the Troll Cage. That's very important. And also, I believe we will eventually, depends on the opening choice, have to recruit some siege weapons. Because if he massively recruits Rohirrim archers, and they have like the mobility advantage. It means they can hit run, disengage when they want to, engage when they need to. And for that reason, our trolls will never be able to catch to them, right? And overall, with the trap, with the catapults inside your castle, you will feel much safer. And you know, better safe than sorry. This Eowyn though, she's gonna be annoying all game, all game long, huh? Okay, so let's, let's be annoying as well. No, let's be annoying as well with the Nazgul. Let's be annoying. Let's kill Sithir. And you see that that's fine. Because now he's investing 800 into a battle tower. It's a lot of money. And we can now target the farm behind. And because the tower cannot target the Nazgul, right? And if he can kill the level 2 farm, that's going to be also great. Our base, our main castle is uh, you know, untouched until now. We can still keep going. Oh, but the tower killed my Gollum. Gollum, my precious. Sorry for that. I want to actually kill these horses, guys. Oh, these horses, they look juicy. Oh, they look, they look really tasty. Industry, use it the second it's available. Very important. It's a huge boost in the economy department. The Witch King is going to be joining the battlefield very soon. And boom, on your face, son. Troll Cage is building up. In the Nazgul, oh, he was even using heal. Oh, oh that's not going to change anything for you, brother. Because there is no backup. You have nothing to save the last Rohirrim. He's going to go down. We need to reclaim map control. It's hard, as you can see, with the orcs to fight for the map control as we are talking, but it's going to become better later on once the Witch King is on the field. And then we will start recruiting trolls, 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 trolls. We need four of them to get the troll cage to level two, which is required to be able to recruit the drummer trolls for the party, for the, lead for the insane... I mean, by the way, drummer troll, the best leadership-giving unit in the game, hands down. And I think we have low-key the chance to win this game. But I don't know what he's planning to do. I think he has something cooking too. Maybe he's going for Legolas. Maybe he's going for other heroes. I don't know. And he has double outposts too. And he's doing actually a good job also for the, for the map control. Elvin, hunt her down. Elvin actually, look at, look at Elvin. Look at her. <laughs> Elvin, you're gonna die, sister. I am no man all you want, but now you are dead. Kill her! But she's healing a bit at the well. Aragorn with the Atela save! Hey Aragorn, why are you betraying your Arvin like that? Why would you save her, Aragorn? Come on now. Okay, we got a bail boy. Oh, these arches inside the outpost are chunking us. Holy guacamole. Hey! You have the statue plus Theodin plus Aragorn. Everything in Battle for Middle of One is able to stack with each other. But we have darkness now, that's good. Now it's time to build the army worthy of Mordor. And pressure all the time. Don't lose your Nazgul Witch King. I mean, you can revive them for free, true, but the revive time is extremely long. For that reason, you need to make sure... Oh, dude, this Aragorn is actually pain in the, pain in the butt. And he's... Nah, there we go, there we go. He was buying upgrades, heavy armor, we see that. He was also buying fire. We have seen the archers in the outpost shooting with fire arrows. Now it's time, boys, to get some siege weapons on the field. To build up a defense worthy of the Rohan army. Or against the Rohan army. We need three more trolls. We need time, and our Nazgul and Witch King can hopefully deliver us the time we need. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep, yeah, keeping annoying. I mean, the problem is he has an outpost at the bottom left side. So it's very hard for me to reach the very bottom left settlement from him, right? And also same goes to the top outpost. So now we need to try to take down one of the outposts as soon as possible. We have Screech. Remember, he has no fear resistance. You gotta, you gotta be level 3 for that one. 
And we have double screech. The second the fear is over from the first Nazgul, we can use it again. The problem is, once Theodian King is hitting level... Oh, the Nazgul... Okay. Once Theodian King is hitting level 3, uh, he will automatically get the fourth Eoringa's passive ability, which will give those nearby cavalry units fear resistant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, Nazgul is kind of badly damaged, though. I would, I would love to get a third Nazgul, but I cannot afford it now. I mean, we need to definitely get some trolls on the field. Nazguls are going to be annoying, and they are going to be good. Don't get me wrong. They are reliable, but they cannot win us the game alone. We need some primary hordes. And these are trolls. The mountain trolls. Catapults for the defense. And once we are ready, we got to go for a big counter push. Now we need to play around the Rosie. And with that, I mean, like, he has an army. And the good thing about this situation for us is he's kind of forced to stay all clumped and all together with the army, right? Because if he splits his army, our Nazgul is going to punish him big time. So he needs to hope to be together. And he needs to hope for me to make a mistake and engage on his full-size army, which obviously would be a terrible choice. And for that reason, when we see the army at the bottom side, he can go to the top side. And that way around. Grammar troll. Okay. Oh, be careful. Let's not lose him. <laughs> Look. That's what I'm... Do you see that? Look how much pressure our Witch King is creating. And during all this time, we have three settlements also untouched. Three males are giving us so much money. We have darkness. We didn't use it yet one single time because we didn't need to. You want to be patient by using this kind of stuff. You don't want to buff or you, you don't want to use darkness. Because the way darkness works, it's only affecting the units you have on the field by the time you are using it. So if you use it now and you recruit five trolls later, these trolls won't have the darkness spell. If you don't know that. I mean, now you know because I want to also educate you a little bit just in case you want to become a better player. And by the way, uh, we will have also a 1v1 and 2v2 tournament coming up very soon for the battle for middle of one. So stay tuned, guys. And if you guys enjoy this kind of content on this channel, if you guys enjoy the Middle Earth, in the commentary, make sure to leave a like. And also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Would be really helpful to get to 20,000 subscribers. We are really close. I think we can do it, guys. I believe in you. Don't let me down. The statue is gonna be... Look at how tanky this is. Okay. Okay, now we can comment. Let's go now. Fly, 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 fly. Now we gotta focus down and take down this outpost. Go, 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 go. We can also use I, but let's not use it. Boom, boom. And that's the good thing. Now we gotta hard focus. Hard focus the outpost. Okay. We might go for our main base, but I think we should be able to protect this. The problem is we have no trolls. The trolls gotta move now before Aragorn takes our catapults down. Okay. I think I'm gonna use Darkness here, boys. Oh. Oh, Aragorn one-shotting them, dude. Oh, I didn't demolish the tower. Okay, I mean... Oh, that's actually bad for us, boys. We did lose the catapult and we also lost the... Okay, he lost the Blade Master. I thought I'm going to chase him down, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. I mean, it's okay. We lost one tower in darkness to the full outpost. I think I take it. Let's engage on these units now. Let's use Screech. And some of them are level 3. You see, one of them is level 3. That's why he's not getting scared. So we, we need to be careful. I don't want to risk it because we need to understand. And respect the shield maiden of Rohan because Elvin can chunk. Can really hit hard, you know, very hard. He will lose the outpost again, but it's okay. Now we can move to the bottom side. And that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Now we gotta move on, okay? Now he is top and he won't be there in time. That means we can now eventually take down the outpost at the bottom side. We have four trolls, two drama trolls, two troll, uh, two catapults. I think it's looking good. The problem is, I believe we also gotta leave something inside the castle. Just for the worst case scenario. Because, you know, he can ignore the army moving to his outpost and go to our castle... Again, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. And always have a plan B. Okay, we will need some more catapults, definitely. Inside the castle. The out this Elma Elma. Oh, Elvin. Okay. I thought that's Elma. Okay, that's that's you know what? I think it. Why? Because she, she you know she used the smite now on the Nazgul. That means she has no more smite for the Witch King. Now I can play a bit more you know risky. With the Witch King, with the leader of the night. Okay, boys, so it's time. Trolls. I trust you on that one, Trolls. Come on. Come on. Don't let me that down, Trolls. Go, go, go. We gotta... You need to always keep the drama Troll close to the Trolls. Very important if you don't want to lose the leadership. 
Okay, we are chunking this. We are chunking this. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's very good. Industry can be used now. Boom. Oh, get away, Nazgul, please. <laughs> okay, now we can also um, take down the, take this outpost for ourselves. And we need to be prepared. He's coming now with Aragorn, guys. We have only one single troll. We need a drummer troll to support this troll. And also, Witch King has to eventually come back. We have Darkness on cooldown. Aragorn is diving in. I don't know about that. Aragorn, he's going to face things so much. And all we need is land one beautiful shot on this Ohirim Archer army with our catapult. He's going to try to deal beast damage. I mean, damage to our structures. One tower is going to be taken down. But I think he won't be able to achieve too much more. You want to focus the Rohirrim... Boom! On your face. You want to focus the Rohirrim Archers with your arrow towers. Very important. Don't waste your time trying to kill Aragorn with Blade Master in Anduril. It's going to take you ages, okay? Let him do what he's doing and take care of the main army with your towers. You can manually select them and target, you know? Okay, so we took the, uh, the bottom side. That's pre pretty good for us. And you know what we can do? You, we can actually go for the, for the main base. Maybe that's a bit too risky. I don't know if this army is going to be actually enough to, you know, take down the entire castle. Maybe not. But we got to try to accomplish something because what we need are power points. And we still are 16 power points away. I don't know how close he is for the cloud break or for the ends. I mean, in my opinion, in this matchup, cloud break is better. But ends, mm, ends are horrible, actually, when you think about it. Because our trolls with this much leadership, the ends have no chance. They will get smashed. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Is he gonna come to the outpost at the bottom side? I hope he does. I hope he does. Like, I think that's a good situation for me. The reason why I'm not moving now, by the way, I'm being patient, is I want to wait until the darkness is back up. It's very important for me. Because darkness means, again, massive boost of damage and armor. In this way, our trolls can become more resistant. I mean, I'm not wondering, I'm not worried about the damage output from the trolls, but I'm worried about their tankiness, you know, because they are vulnerable against Fyam. And with Rohirrim Arches, with Theorian leadership, Aragorn leadership, look how many he has on the field. You see that? And we just need to be patient. We need to be just patient. Hold a little bit. Don't risk the biscuit. Let's recapture this. And you know, at the same time as we are going to go for the attack to the main base, we also need to use our orcs to fight for the map control, okay? Because he got to answer that, right? He needs to answer my trolls and my catapults if he doesn't want to lose the entire base. No. Hey, boys. Wish me luck. Now it's time. So it begins, as Theorem would like to see. Now is the time again. Multitasking, map control. Macro, very important. It's okay, take down this. What is the level from his heroes? Level 3 Elven. I think that he has no glorious charge yet. Now we gotta kill the tower first. I don't know how much money he has. Hopefully he has not a lot of money in which he can just build 500 towers and defend himself with towers exclusively, but we shall, we shall see. Trolls are going in. Darkness. Um, drama troll, move with the trolls. Witch King, you gotta also move with the troll. Okay, so here's a statue there. We can take it down. Even if he can't accomplish a lot here, we need to try to get as many power points collected as possible. Keep in mind that we started the fight with around four power points only. Now we have almost one power point collected already. Let's take down the citadel. And even, you know, when you want to rebuild the citadel, you need to invest 1,000. So we can actually hurt this economy quite a lot. Look how many towers this guy's building up. I believe he was investing like 5k into the towers. Oh, my trolls are dying though. Now shoot, shoot the Rohir matches, please. The Nazgul, Nazgul, Nazgul. Okay, trolls, go ahead, go ahead, go, 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 go. Trolls, don't be that lazy. Boom. Move the eye, move the eye, move the eye. Move the eye. He's disengaging. Now let's, oh, my Nazgul. No, 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 no. No. Okay, we have the money for the, for the third Nazgul. And again, reviving the Nazgul or the Witch King is for free. But oh, this attack could have been so much better. My micro was something ugly. Dude. Oh, nice shot, dude. We actually kind of recovered a little bit from the fight with a couple of great catapult shots. And we got around about four power points collected from the fight all alone. And our base is looking safe. We will eventually lose now the bottom side, but it's okay. Now we can make something happen. Look at the minimap. Look at the map control in the meantime, guys. That's what I'm talking about. When you do something as you are pushing, 
even if your push is not going to be very successful like you have seen in our example we still come at come out ahead because we were focusing down the settlements and that's what i'm talking you know about at the beginning of the game i told you guys orcs in long terms are so annoying to deal with because they will keep coming they will keep coming you know they cost nothing but command points okay industry our money is still not looking great but we can now fight for this outpost and again you see we are seeing him at the bottom side what is Eowyn doing we are seeing him at the bottom side with his army and that means that's the time for us now to take down the top outpost always punish him for him for the for the steps he's taking you want to do always something you know make sure that your epm action per minute is as high as possible waiting in the castle and uh, you know waiting until you get attacked is not a solution you, know, you want to be active trade outpost for outpost never trade something for nothing you know nine power points in the bank and uh, we need 11 more can we get there this elvin is annoying but we will be slowly but surely taking care of this outpost he doesn't demolish the wells it's a mistake wells in statues they give a lot of um hold on oh he's using heal on the on the elvin they give a lot of power points yes the entire army at the bottom side you know you need to be a you know map awareness it's very important Ten power points are only away okay we, let's not chase him let's not chase her actually go back go back go back let's not chase let's not chase not chase not chase okay all right so we need to kind of heal a bit wait for the third nazgul wait for the nazgul and the witch king to recover back to full hp and look at our base um there are five catapults in the base we have thr thralls drummer trolls we have eye of sauron for the worst case scenario we were able to take down the outpost that's pretty good and he's kind of scared to go for the main base i guess because you know he has seen what happens if he does that right he's losing a lot from it okay now i'm telling you guys if i would just sit in my base now and do nothing else i could just stole the game out <laughs> until i get padrock because i will win the power point fights right he needs to engage he needs to come to my base and rohan siege out of all four factions is, is the war so that means if he can sit here and with catapults protect the catapults with the trolls and drama trolls and then two nazgus plus the witch king you know long story short it's really hard for him to achieve too much without feeding a lot of power points right and um we can easily get to the power point uh, to the power spike of summoning the balrog but i don't want to camp i'm gonna wait now for the for the third nazgul again keep fighting for the map control i don't want to camp but i also don't want to leave my castle unprotected you know okay so he's coming now we gotta make some combos combos why are you asking glad you're asking because combos are giving you insane bursts against rohirrim archers indeed the biggest weakness of rohirrim archers if you don't know is fire so your fire upgraded combo battalions of mordor now you might say yeah but shanks uh, or combos come on now they are so weak and i got you but the problem is or not the problem but the good thing is we have so much leadership if i darkness tainted land if you want to witch king drummer troll that doesn't really matter if they have heavy armor or not they will still become almost unkillable as long as the opponent has no um seat glorious charge okay now we have two combos that's good this outpost let, let, you know demolish the buildings just in time do not give him power points we don't know how close he is for his own army after that I, i'm not i'm not thinking that he's close enough because we have not seen cloud break yet but i believe he's at bare minimum still 12 power points 13 power points away from that point because he hasn't killed a lot he killed what one nazgul and plenty of oryx and one two catapults that's it right and four five trolls like we killed rohirrim we killed a lot of building structures over and over again now he's demolishing them we need eight power, power points guys let's use industry our money is looking low but it's okay you want to keep your money as low as potentially possible once you get to the threshold in which you recruit all the heroes you wanted in this case we don't need to save up for anything anymore keep oh oh, oh hold on okay darkness and some okay hold on he's going ham catapult shooting shoot 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 okay the ends though they, they have no chance power points are rising to the sky okay 14 power points collected our trolls are safe but don't shoot 
Um, okay, let's use whole ground stance. I mean, I'm worried that they're gonna shoot down our own combo uh, combos and 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 trolls. Now let's engage with the Nazgûls. We have three Nazgûls, and he cannot turn and fight this. Let's kill the three, please, so we get even more power points collected. Let's move the Eye of Sauron to make them stronger. We can even eventually take down the Aragorn, the King of Gondor, if he you know chooses to fight. But it looks like you want to disengage for now. And guys, boys, we are only four power points away from the from the twenty. For the Balrog summon. Let's build though. Let's not overcommit into the castle. He has plenty of towers and he can always turn and fight. He has Eowyn alive, I believe, to burst out us down. Be careful. Okay. Hey, what is Witch King doing there? Please don't die. Okay. We, we are fine. We are fine. Hey, there was a beautiful fight for us. And that's what I'm talking about. Not even our combos died. Like, he feed us so much, right? We killed a lot of horses. We killed a lot of ants. And we got like, what, five power points collected? Maybe he got like, maybe one. Maybe less than one. It's Mordor lead game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, a couple of pe people they have like doubts about Mordor. They are saying, yeah, but Mordor feels so weak. Definitely not. Trust me, definitely not. Like you, I mean, alone the fact that you can have three flying heroes on the field. Yes, they don't have abilities, but they can fly. Would you rather be able to use Elmas spear, or would you rather be able to fly? <laughs> you know, flying heroes they have so much impact on the game. Now it's the time for us to shine. Now it's the counter-attack time. We need to use the momentum with the darkness being active and available for the trolls. And you see, when you have this much leadership, it looks like your combos are healing. You see this blue animation around the combos? But they are not healing, obviously. Let's get this outpost. Let's keep fighting for the map control. I keep seeing it every single time. I hope you don't get annoyed, but map control is the key to victory. It's very important. Okay. So keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Eye is on cooldown. Darkness is going to be almost on cooldown as well. Maybe that's not a great idea. And our combos? Ah. I don't know, man. But let's let's risk it. I think we have such a great lead. We can risk the biscuit. Oh, man. Is he level 4 yet? Let's, I want to focus down Theodore King. He's coming in clutch. He's coming in clutch. Trolls charge. Trolls charge. Trolls charge. The, you see, he has like Rohirrim also now in the front line. Theoden, oh, he's almost level 4. Did you guys see that? He's like, Lucy, how much he needs for the glorious judge. It would be awful if he if he gets it. I mean, we, I don't know if he can engage with trolls or not. My units are also not listening to me because I'm awful player in this game. But it's okay. I was playing on host with the uh, Gondor against Isengard one. Okay, so. Mm-hmm. Bail, bail. Nazgul, what are you doing, Nazgul? Nazgul, what are you doing? Oh, I clicked you back, Nazgul. Oh, Elvin, you are annoying. Hey, what is this Nazgul doing? No, 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 no. Fly, you fool. Fly, fly. I gotta feed the combos now. The Nazgul, go back, go back, go back, go back. I don't want to see you anymore on the screen. You are annoying me. All right, guys. <laughs> this engagement, I think, is not going to be possible because he's faster than our trolls. I don't think we will be able to save any of these trolls. We gotta, we gotta comment on this one. We gotta try to kill at least something. Go, 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 go. Just die. You know, I don't wanna... I, I don't wanna even talk about it. But that was a horrible fight. Now he got a lot of power points, trust me. I think he got like... Four power points from this fight. Killing a Nazgul. Combos and plenty of trolls. Oh man. At least we are fighting for the map control. That's okay. He has also glorious charge. Are you kidding me? Dude, is this the throw of the century? Are we throwing the game harder than LeBron, LeBron James now? What is happening? I should have just waited, dude. Oh, man, I was going without darkness, without eye. What am I doing? Impatient is a curse. And I might have just lost the game. Hopefully not, though. I mean, it's Aragorn, but like we say, there is always hope. So I'm not hoping to lose yet. <laughs> But the good thing is we are only we are only two and a half power points away from the Balrog summon, right? That's that's pretty good. If we can now summon the Balrog, the big boy, and eventually use the Balrog to kill his entire castle with the help of the two Nazguls or the Nazgul and the Witch King, and he's refocusing on the map control, which is smart. He knows the. But I mean, maybe he should have gone for the base. When I would be him, after killing the trolls and stuff, I would have just you know tried to take down the base. But we have five catapults inside the base with drama trolls, trolls protecting them. We have also darkness available once again. Our money is always like we are so poor, guys. Let's buy banner. Let's use the Nazgûls. Look at this. He's chasing down our, our Nazgûls. We gotta we gotta bail. 
You need to kind of make smart choices. You know, you don't want to be running into them. Because you have seen how fast the Nazgul and the Witch King can get bursted down. And now the Rohirrim Archers, they have even some levels on them. Which means they can burst them down even faster. Industry on the three furnaces at the outpost. Let's you know, fly. Again, mobility advantage. He can not cross the river. He can. We can fly over anything we want. And you are also the fastest unit. And if, if you don't know, when you charge, with charge, I mean like attack something or target something with a Nazgul and or Eagle. Uh, when they are charging, they are flying faster than when they are flying normally without having a target, you know? And the same goes also, for example, to Trolls, right? Trolls, when they have like a normal movement speed, when they move, when they move normal, and when you need to charge, and that's only possible when you target something. But the thing you target, you don't need to see it. When you, for example, don't see the farm, you can press G button on your keyboard as a guard but guard command. And, the you know, the, the game knows there is some settlement and then they will automatically charge. Also can be quite nice to save your Nazgul's against the Eagles, for example, or save your Trolls. Unlike we couldn't in this game. 18 power points collected. We have only, we need only two more boys. We need only two more. Tomorrow, come on now. We can do it. We can do it. I mean, we are just trying to get the power points now. And our base is safe. I'm not worried about our base. I mean, he's scared to go. I mean, I think he's close to EOD. I think what he's planning to do is he want to fight also for the map control, kill even more orcs, try to kill the Nazgul and the Witch King, go for the army of the dead, summon the army of the dead in our castle, kill all the trolls, catapults, and everything else, then finish the game. Now it's a race for the power point. Uh, Aragorn King, is he gonna commit on this one? I hope he does. He doesn't know, boys. He doesn't know. He doesn't know this is gonna be dangerous for him. I'm telling you, this is my experience. You will see. That's gonna be, um, even with Glorious Charge, he might become a bit overconfident. But even Glorious Charge is not gonna change the outcome of this fight. Okay, now we gotta use Darkness, though. We need to fight, 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 fight. Oh, he's summoning ends again? Darkness. He's summoning else. He's fully committing. Power points are gonna rise now. Look, he's diving too deep. What is he doing into the melee range of my trolls? Dude, my trolls, do you know how much leadership they have? You think you're... Oh, oh, no, no, no. He's speeding also. And my dude, that's crazy. And boom, we have enough power points for the Balrog. Now, go, 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 Nazgûls. Go, go, go. I mean, should we use it on the... on the Oh, one of the Nazgûls, but it's okay. The Witch King is alive. That's all that matters. Witch, you gotta keep Witch King alive. That's your most valuable and important hero. You need to protect no matter what. Now, we gotta fight Aragorn. Aragorn son. Look how strong this dude is. He's killing trolls like it's like a no man business. The, I mean, these trolls have Drummer Troll, I, Darkness, and Witch King. Aragorn. And you guys telling me, hey Shanks, why are you nerfing Aragorn in the patch 2.22? Now you see it. That's patch 2.2. That's the nerf Aragorn already, man. The guy, how can you fight that? There is nothing that can fight these trolls. Four trolls, I, Darkness, Drummer, Witch King. They would have one shot at Gandalf. One shot it. Trust me on that one. Okay, boys. It's time for the ancient demon. I mean, for the demon of the ancient world. Boom! I mean, his Rohirrim matches are actually having like a holiday or vacation on top of the gate. <laughs> okay, let's... We're gonna, we're gonna sport this, by the way, with our Nazgûls. That's very important um, because I believe the Balrog all alone is not gonna be able to do it. Why am I screaming? No, I didn't want to... Actually, okay. Let's use Breathfire. Do it. Oh, poo! Kamehameha! Nerf to the Balrog uh, doesn't make him one-shot the production buildings anymore. You saw that the stable was able to barely survive. You gotta keep going. I mean, I'm just gonna fly on top of them. They are trying to kill my Nazgûls. Fly! Oh, the smile is coming. We gotta, we gotta build, boys. Can we do it, though? Please do it, please do it, please do it, please do it. Okay. Hmm... Let's use Whip. I should have used Ignite. What am I doing? Now, without Ignite, it's very hard to kill the farm. You need to hit it three times. Ignite is so important. I can't. I can't. I can't. Please, please kill the... I... What? Attack the... Okay. Now, Breath Fire. Oh, no. 
Come on, Nazgul. Come on, Witch King. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. No, 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 no. Witch King, abort the mission. Abort the mission. We, we can't do it. We can't do it. We can't do it. Oh, I cannot believe it, boys. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> what? Oh, that that's... That's unfortunate. Come on now. That's really unfortunate. Dude, I played that as bad as potentially possible, by the way. You need to rotate with the ignite of Bal Balrog, right? That's really important to keep your Balrog always ignited. For 200% more DPS. So you saw, without ignite, you need literally 3 hits with, you know, his sword to kill a level 3 farm. With ignite, it, it's almost one-shooting it, you know? It's okay. I mean, he, he kills a lot of his army. We kills Aragorn, right? That's also very important. I think he needs to now invest so much money into rebuilding everything he lost inside the castle. He needs to make an army. He needs to recruit Aragorn again. I think he cannot do that with the amount of map control he has. Because, again, map control is important. And we have done a good job. I mean, he has, like, two farms from the beginning un uh, until now. Three being untouched. But we... All of a sudden, look at our money. We have almost 10k. Over 9,000, <laughs> as Vegeta would like to say. Okay, now it's the time. Now we gotta make a move, because... But what we wanna do is we want to try to win the game without his army of the dead. That's very important. Because if he if he would just... If we wait now for the for the Balrog summon again inside the castle, and he gets AOD, he can use AOD to kill our Balrog, and then he can split the AOD and kill our even our army. Our ar you know our army besides the Nazgûls are very immobile. They cannot even disengage. And regardless how much leadership you get, army of the dead doesn't care. Okay, so it's the time now for us to shine. Looks like Black Gate mission to me. Catapults, trolls, drummer trolls, orc um, orc archers, orc combos. Let's see if we got what it takes, boys. Let's see if we got what it takes. Holy moly, this is a long game, dude. Guys, let me know, please, in the comment section down below if you guys enjoy this kind of long games. I mean, sorry for my mistakes, which kind of maybe make this game longer than it should be. But it's really hard to leave your castle, as you can see. We have tried it a couple of times, and we got kind of crushed. And now he has really strong units, like Glory's Charge, these and that. So it's very hard for us to accomplish something. When I use Darkness, don't lose the Drama Troll. We have only one of them. Shoot them down. Okay, okay. Catapults. Catapults, you don't, you don't shoot anymore. Catapults, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, don't shoot. Don't shoot. He wants to make us shoot each other, you know? Oh, okay. Witch King, please, please don't die. You are the only hero I have not lost all game long, and I want to keep it this way. Thank you very much. Okay, now here's Glorious Charge on cooldown, and it's very important to play around the cooldowns, right? So we know Glorious Charge is on cooldown. Now we can make something happen because he cannot engage on us anymore. Okay. We've also called the heart, <laughs> but let's not use it. We don't need it. Scavenger is going to give us... Look our money, dude. We have over 12,000. I mean, the problem is we cannot even invest the money into something right now, right? We can only recruit more trolls. Maybe, you know, obviously we can build a tro second troll cage. Mumai kills are a bad choice against Rohan. With this many Rohir marches, they can't do anything. Yeah. We can only recruit maybe a couple of more combos, but let's not do that either. You know, I don't think we need it. He's summoning ants, but what can ants do? You will see. Ants are painful normally, as you know. But in this situation, they have no chance. Yeah, you can see that, right? They don't even get the chance to hit you back. <laughs> you want to go for a, for a trample? Look, every ant is already gone. Uh, it's, that's not going to be possible for you, my friend. Look, your throw here match. They're dying one by one. They don't stand a chance. Again, focus, hard focus to Rohirrim Arches, you see, they are dying. Let's capture everything in the meantime. Let's take down the outpost at the bottom left side as well. So we know after destroying this castle, we will be victorious. Keep pressuring his walls, break, break it. Feast on his flesh, as Witch King would like to see. And we, we, are looking good. we are looking strong in this one. We are looking definitely strong in this one. We have also industry. We don't even need to use it, let's be real. We have 20 key. <laughs> We are so rich, man. Holy moly. We were struggling so hard, too, right? It was looking really grim at some point. But they were give up. They were surrender. Okay. Balrog is almost back up as well. He's trying desperately to go for a trample, but my units are refusing to take damage. 
doesn't even use Elvin Wood because he knows if he uses Elvin Wood, I can just use my team to land. Maybe he doesn't even have Alvin Wood. I cannot believe it. I have not used a single Tainted Land in this entire game. Okay, so... Keep pressuring him. Keep pressuring him. Oh, the Smite from downtown? Okay. The Nazgul gets chunked, but you can send him back. You know, send him back to base. We have another Nazgul and Witch King. We don't need him. Okay, we destroyed the Outpost. And look at the minimap. He has only one single farm and two farms left. The one is already under attack, but... His eco will not look great anymore. Trust me, that one. It's gonna be off awful for him. Okay. Balrog is almost back up. Let's use. Should we use Balrog now? I think we should. But let's buy the outpost first. We can even build three Mooma kill pans. Dude, I will I will just build three Mooma kill pans, and the reason is because we can. Okay, we can. Hey, Eowyn, what you doing, bro? <laughs> Sis, sister? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Hey, okay, trolls, don't die, don't die. Shoot the, shoot the um, units. Please, catapults. Shoot them. Boom, 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 boom. Catapult shot on your face. Eowyn, die, 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 die. Dude, this Eowyn is surviving for... Oh, never mind. He has heal. Oh, there comes the EOD. I'm happy that I didn't use the Balrog, by the way. Okay, now it should be GG, boys, because all we gotta do is wait until the EOD disappears. Oh, don't, you know, engage on them, please, Nazgus. All we gotta do is wait until the EOD disappears. And then we're gonna summon our Balrog, and that's gonna be the game-winning point. And this was like a rough one, dude. You know, required a lot of attention from me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. What do you guys think about Mordor? What do you guys think about the Mordor faction generally? I'm curious. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. And let me also know what you wanna see more. You wanna see more 1v1s, 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s, 3 4 0s You know? I can do that all for you guys, no problem. Okay, it's time. It's time. I'm summoning the blue eyes, white... No, it's not the same game. All right, go, Balrog. No, he's saying... <laughs> GG, well played. Hey, man, GG, well played. GG, bro. It was fun. Thanks for the game. Okay. Go, go, go. Balrog. Now we can do it, definitely. We have three Nazgul's now. Kill it and use breath fire. I mean, the Nazgus are gonna. Thanks for the games. Thank you, man. Thank you. I mean, not thank you. I, mean, I thank you for the games. Okay, let's you let's fly on it. Fly on him. Fly on Eoma in the last second. And boom, we are victorious, ladies and gentlemen. I see you next time. Take care of yourself and please make sure to leave a like on this video. Until then, stay beyond standards, guys. Peace out. Hold on a second, let's see the money. I want to see the money. The money differential. Oh yeah, we had almost 20,000 more, even though he had a lot of map control for the majority of the time. Okay, guys, see you, t t you tomorrow, hopefully. Take care and stay healthy.